Hi, my name is Mandeep. Let's look at this question. If we compare the first few words, it says it might have been, it might have been, it might have been, its rise might have been, there might have been. Now, there might have been, this is an avoidable construction in GMAT, but we'll come back to this option later. Here, it refers to inflation. It says inflation might have been expected to rise, which is fine. But option D says its rise, inflation's rise. So that doesn't make sense. So that will be out. If you look at the last word, it says expected for, expected to, expected that, expectation. Now it says expected for, this is a wrong idiom. Expected that it should. Should is a moral obligation. And on the other side we have expected which is uncertain and should is more like certainty. So we cannot have expected and should in the same sentence. So that is out. It says expectations. Now expectation must be followed by that. Because we are going to state what are the expectations. So whenever we use words that we use to state something like I recommend that, I believe that. So expectation is something which can be stated. So it must be followed by that. So that is wrong in option E. Hence B is the correct answer. Thank you.